Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am making a Pinterest inspired reindeer cake. I've seen a couple of these around and I thought it was so cute. Of course I had to make one. If you want to see how I made it, then continue watching. Okay, so I've already baked two six inch rounds and I've cut them in half. And now I'm going to put on my chocolate buttercream frosting. Okay, so now that I have my layers together, I am going to crumb coat. So now that I have my crumb coat on, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let it chill. Okay, so now I'm going to put on my final coat of frosting. So now I'm using a, a paper towel to smooth out my frosting. I just find this is the easiest way to do it. And this is actually a Viva paper towel. Okay, so now that I have my frosting smoothed out, I'm going to remove my little pieces of parchment paper that I have protecting my cake stand. I am going to push my cake back into the middle of my cake stand here. So to make the ears, I have some darker brown fondant, some light brown fondant, and I have two different size leaf cutters. And I have my rolling pin and I am going to put a little bit of Crisco on my table here. You can put powdered sugar if you like, but I prefer using a little bit of Crisco. And I'm going to roll my brown. I'm going to roll out my darkest brown fondant and I am going to roll it out pretty thick. Probably about this thick if you can see. I'm going to take my largest leaf cutter and I'm going to cut out two ears. Now I'm going to roll out my light brown fondant. And this one's gonna be a bit thinner. And I'm gonna use this smaller leaf cutter to cut out two of those shapes. Okay, so I'm gonna take this light brown leaf cut out. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put a little bit of water on the back side of it with a paintbrush. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick that in the middle of my ear. Then I'm going to turn this other leaf cut out the opposite way. 
Nós tem mortesta. And I'm gonna put, and I'm gonna do the same. So I'm gonna take my ear and I'm going to pinch it together here at the end, like so. Kind of form it into an ear shape. Then I'm going to cut the bottom excess off. I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going to dip the end of my toothpick in some water and then I'm going to stick it into my ear. Now it's time to start decorating the cake. And I'm going to find the center of it. I'm going to pipe some rosettes. I'm going to hold my piping bag up straight up. I'm going to push down and then I'm going to go around and make a rosette. And I'm going to go down the middle of my cake doing that. Okay, so now it's time to put my antlers on. So I am using some glitter cardstock for my antlers here and I did use a template and I did cut them out with my silhouette. I'm going to link down below to my website where you can print off a template and you can print it out on a piece of paper and then you can just trace it out on the back side of the cardstock. Now for the back of these I did make them double sided. So I am going to stick them right here onto my cake. And if you can see, I put a toothpick to where they can go into my cake. And now I'm going to put my ears on. And now I'm just going to fill in a little bit more with my piping bag with some rosettes. Okay, so for the eyes, I am going to take a circle cookie cutter and I'm going to push it onto my cake just to make where I'm going to put the eye. To make the eye, so I'm going to take some black fondant and I'm going to roll it into a sausage. Okay, I'm going to cut that in half. Okay, so I have two little sausages the same length and I'm going to take some more uh, fondant with a little pointer tip and I'm going to make a little eyelash with that. I'm going to use a little bit of my water and put that on top there. Okay, so now it's time to put on the eyes. I'm going to take a little bit of my water and I'm going to wet my frosting a bit with my paintbrush. And then I'm going to put my eye on. To make the nose, you're just going to take some red fondant and you're going to roll it into a ball. And sort of like an ovalish shape, like this. So I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going to dip it in a little bit of water. And then I'm going to stick it right in through the cake where I want my nose to go. Not all the way in. I'm going to take my nose and I'm going to put a little bit of water on the back of it. And then I'm going to put it right on top of my toothpick. 
I'm going to be using a 352 tip and my green is a mixture of leaf green and moss green. I'm going to be piping a ruffle border with this leaf tip which is 352. I think it's in focus now. So I'm going to be holding the tip to the cake in this direction. And when I start piping on, I'm going to just kind of um, ruffle it out here. So now I'm going to add a little bit of berries onto my little green ruffle tip there and I am using Wilton number four. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit of leaves and holly and the hair. So here's the finished reindeer cake. I think that it turned out absolutely adorable. If you like this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. And also, thank you so much for watching. Bye.